We had three different types of pasta. We made it. Welcome to Wien, Vienna. That is beautiful right there. Stars fall at my feet. Keep me grounded as I reach. Higher than I see. Is there something there for me? Hello everyone, Tiger Gib. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Foreigner Joe. Today's our last day in Germany. We head to Wien or Vienna. Tomorrow, my uh, oldest son Daniel is going to pick us up from the hotel and take us to the airport. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the next leg of our trip, right? We have um, Vienna, Spain, Prague to go. And then we go back to uh, Italy and then we fly back to Bangkok. So time is going by really fast. So we got a train ticket to take us all around Düsseldorf and we're in Old Town now. The train ticket's good for 24 hours, so it'll even take us to the um, airport tomorrow when we leave because we have 24 hours on it. So I'm here with my oldest son and uh, we're going to look around, get a coffee, maybe get some German food for lunch. The problem is now when we walk through the street, street the Starbucks is on this side, but we still have some time there. Yeah, sure, it's okay. She'll take Starbucks at 3 o'clock, she don't care. That's a, a, a good option to walk to. Oh, that's a coffee place? Yeah. But, but she has to check in. Yeah, she has to let a boss, Starbucks boss know. Give her a question. Ask me, give you five Starbucks, you five Starbucks. Oh, look at Burger King and Kentucky Fried Chicken. I can do both. You can now see here because here you see the field. That's a very crowded place at night. At nighttime. I remember you took me here a long time ago for the beer, remember? Yeah, he said the, we have to come the here. First one, this yeah. is one already, uh, one local beer. Yeah, that's the one you showed me. You said we have to get a beer there, and, and it was full. When you don't put yeah. your, how do you say it, your plate on the cup, they will bring you and give you a new one. So they will not. Ask. When you don't put the um, coaster on top yeah. of your glass, they'll bring you a new one, without asking. Yeah. But you have the small size, zero point two. Yeah, so. I remember you taking me here. I remember exactly us having a beer. This was packed. And that's the second, second brand Schlüssel. Yeah. Another beer. Yep. You can see already, they start already in the morning. It's yeah, this is this is the, what I like, areas like this, because it's just, it feels like it has a life to it, you know, like a vibe. I don't know what that is right there. Oh, Rat House. That's what it is. It's a rat house. City Hall. Want a picture? What is that there? No, this one. What is this building, Daniel? What's, oh, it's a brow house. This takes you to the Rhine, right? Main entrance, I would say. To the Rhine. Nice. So our hotel is down that way. We t actually, uh, Rotio, my daughter-in-law, drove us here and then we met Daniel at the train station and now we're hanging around with Daniel. But this is the entrance into the old town here. Nice, huh? And today is um, it's 24 degrees right now, 24 Celsius. Beautiful day. We didn't walk down this way, right? We didn't. We walked. Down this way? Yes. Okay, we've been walking so much I can't even remember. We walked from our hotel to the restaurant. Then we walked a little bit. 
Oh, to the other restaurant, Ash restaurant we went to. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I was a little tired that day, so I don't remember. They got some type of marathon going over here. Coffee bike. Look at the coffee bike. Like in Thailand almost, huh? <laughs> but they have... Yeah. 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 I like the old stock feel, you know? That's why Gift has a different color. Scoopy. But the same one I would have. Yeah. How's this university? What, what university is that? Do you know? That's not really a university. Oh, it's not? The university was back there when we... Okay. On the right side. Big Apple store. Yesterday we were here. This place was packed yesterday. We had a coffee over there, but I mean, it was... I sat right over there, but, but I wanted to go in the Apple store. We never did because it was so busy. Look at that hotel. I'm sure that's expensive to stay in. Where are you going? <laughs> Gift has to get a Starbucks. We had three different types of spaghetti pasta. And we got a pizza coming. And then Daniel has, what is this, Daniel? Tagliatelle with awesome pizza. Like mushrooms and yeah. this bread is, wow, this bread is delicious. Nice and hot. How's the bread gift? Good? Very good. We have a pizza coming. Gift and I are going to share the pasta and then we're going to share the pizza, right? Kashuka. Aloy? Kashuka. Oh, look at that pizza. Oh. <laughs> We've been eating these noodles. We're full. The food is very good here, right? Mm -hmm. The cheese they put on it. Hello, uh -huh. Mai. Hello, everyone. Thai Kirky. Good morning. Good morning, Foreigner Joe. Well, we are off to our next leg of our trip. We are going to Vienna or Wien, Austria, whatever you want to call it. My, um, We're meeting my oldest son over by the bakery over here. And then we are catching a train to the main train station. And from there, we are going to the airport. We bought a, um, a daily pass yesterday for us. We were going around, uh, I forget what it was, 10 euro or something like that. And it's good for 24 hours. So we've already paid for our train ride to the airport. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to Vienna, huh? Yes, Vienna. Vienna, yeah. And, um, our train, to, our train, our plane doesn't leave till like three in the afternoon, but we're going to get there early because my son has some business to do. My oldest son, I get been getting some comments. You keep talking about your oldest son, but we never see him. My oldest son doesn't like being on camera and we respect that. So anyway, we will have a coffee with him and then we will go to the airport, huh? Here we come. We'll be spending four nights in uh, Vienna. We're getting there a little late in the afternoon, so today we'll probably do nothing but uh, go check in to our accommodation and go grab dinner, and then tomorrow we'll go look around. We have full through three full days there, so more than enough time, I'm sure. Anyway, I bet I gotta be careful. I don't get ran over here. Düsseldorf's a beautiful city, right? Düsseldorf, a beautiful city? Yes. Some folks also been staying in the comment section, which I don't blame them. Some things are eating out in a mid-range restaurant can be a little costly. Two people, 50, 60 euro. Four people, 110, 112, 115, whatever. Uh, there are cheaper options for like fast food and stuff like that, but yeah, we're just enjoying ourselves. And that's something we don't we do all the time i mean this is a six week six country trip so we expected the uh costs associated with it and next time we come to europe we'll just get an airbnb for a month in different countries and probably cook a lot of our own food and things like that to just not have it so expensive okay so we uh 
We actually took a bus to the main train station. Now we're on our way to the airport and my son is running up there. So I think we got to hurry up. We'll see you in a minute. Run again. Run again. Well, my son, we run all the time. He's yeah. always, always, oh, we got to catch this one. We got to catch this one. And he don't even wait for us. He's like gone. We got to we gotta keep up or, or lose him, right? All the time, right? Yeah. Every time we took a train or bus with a yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, but we're on the train now on the way to the uh, to the airport. So Daniel told me that you could take the bus, the U-Bahn, and the train all over Dizzledorf with the daily pass that we bought. I didn't know that. And um, some folks, if they want to come to like Europe, you can buy a global pass for all of Europe. And I think the price we were looking at is about 900 euro. Depends on one month, two months, or three months. So that's pretty good if you want to travel throughout Europe and not fly. And a global pass includes high-speed train. The pass we got, the daily pass, does not include the high-speed high train. That would be extra, extra cost. But if you have time and you just want to relax, that's the way to go, I guess. And they also have beds, uh, like little areas where you can yeah. sleep on some of these trains. You could go to Venice overnight, and yeah. I don't know yeah. what they cost, probably as much as a hotel room. Yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah. Something to think about if you want to travel. Airport Sky Train here in Düsseldorf. those things but it's pulling from up here. So we were just going through security and the guy said, Joe, <laughs> from the security. And I thought, yeah, Joe, I'm like, okay. And then he said, gift. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I thought for, for a second there, I thought, okay, they're going to take me on the side and say, we got to check your bags or whatever. But anyway, really nice guy, Patrick. And he's one of the um, TSA or whatever they call them here at Dizzledorf Airport. So this is amazing. This is the second time we met someone in our travels, right? Yeah. First in Venice, Italy. Small world. Small world. The gentleman was from uh, Poland. Yeah, well, he was American, but he worked in Poland. And now Patrick is German and he works for the, like I said, TSA, I believe it's called TSA, uh, security. He speaks Thai really good. <laughs> yeah, he spoke Thai, yeah, very, very good. Okay, anyway, we're in here. We still got three hours to go before we even board our plane. Uh, a flight to uh, Vienna is not too long, a little over an hour, hour and a half or something like that. We're just going to sit in here and relax, I guess. Okay, so we got our tickets for the city center. City center is Wien Mitte, a four, four euro 60 or four euro 80 each. When you get to the airport, as soon as you exit the baggage claim, you turn right, there'll be a counter there for it. And then you just go come back down the ramp and you go left on the ramp and it'll take you to this one. If you take the green line, it's gonna take you there also, maybe five minutes faster, but it also cost you about 10 euro more per person. So we're going the cheap route. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see when we get there. So far, we're doing good. Looks like it's a little late, but it's okay. Six more minutes, yeah. For Spätung, yeah, it says six minutes for Spätung. So it'll be here shortly.
see it'll show you on the board at each stop and you want to if you're in the area and you're in the middle of town the city center that's where you want to go Veen Mitha we made it welcome to Veen Vienna <laughs> Go ahead, what were you going to say? Welcome to Vienna. Vienna, yes. Um, just stepped out of the train station, and the first thing I see to the right is a Starbucks. According to our navigation, 22 minute walk to our um, accommodation. That's not bad at all. So we're just going to take our time, look around, and um, go check in, and then we are going to go to dinner. We still got three full days here, like I said, so we, you know, we'll enjoy the rest of this. We're going to do a lot of walking again. We enjoy walking, right? So anyway, let us get out of here. So we made it to our accommodation. It's an apartment. We booked for a hotel. That's what came up. So we selected it. It's pretty nice. It has a washing machine, kitchen, uh, little living room, bedroom. The only problem is we can't find the AC remote control. So we sent a message to the, uh, to the property management, I guess. And we're waiting for them to respond. So we were about, I don't know, five minutes. We are extremely tired. The train ride here was no problem at all. I think it was less than five euros for each of us. Really simple. We got off the train, we got out of the, um, the train station on um, basically 20 minute walk to to where we were staying. Really easy, we just Google mapped it. But anyway, we're not gonna do a hell whole lot tonight. We're just going to get something to eat, we're going to relax, and then we are going to explore Vienna Dean tomorrow. That's the plan anyway, right? Okay, let me show the uh, Airbnb. It's laid out right now because we want to get something to eat and it's already dark. <laughs> Refrigerator. Well, I don't know who did this, but coal. <laughs> it's got a microwave, stove, everything you need. A decent sized bathroom right here. Washing machine, decent sized shower. This is the kitchen from this angle, so we can cook here. Um, and if it has a cold rack, something you won't see in Thailand. There's gift. <laughs> a little sitting area, dining area, TV. We opened the windows. We can't figure out how to turn the AC on. There's no remotes in here, but anyway. It is what it is. We'll find out tomorrow. There's a safe right there, a little wardrobe. And there's the bed, TV. They do have the ACs. We just can't find a remote. It's dark out, as you can see. And yeah. What do you think, Gift? Nice, and, nice. nice and cool in here with the windows open, right? So, how much did this cost? 522 euro. Okay, so 522 euro for four nights. Check out the bed gift. I love these comforters. You like these comforters and pillows they yeah. have? A little bit comfortable. A little bit comfortable, yes. so firm? Yeah, nice, but a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Well, we are going to call it tonight because we are tired. Mm -hmm. I am extremely tired. But anyway, we will see what we do tomorrow, right? We will look around Vienna and, of course, um, you're coming with us, so <laughs> stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Adika. It's just beautiful around here. I don't know what it is, but there's something in the air and it's killing me. Thank you so much for watching our video. Love you all. Bye-bye.